everyone. Got my new BMW inductor coils. This guy is a uh, 10 gauge, uh, 4 turns per inch inductance of 50 millihenries or something like that. And uh, this guy here <laughs> is a 14 gauge. It's like 10 turns per inch or something, and an inductance of almost 200 millihenries. Pretty sweet. That is super quality. So, gonna do a lot of playing around with uh, these guys. Just beautiful. So we'll start her up, and uh, I haven't really played with the resonance too much. I have weighed the coils. Uh, the primary uh, weighs about the same as the uh, as this guy here. So I've put my high current diode back on, uh, but when I use both, uh, it just goes totally dead. Whoa. Uh, so I'm just going the whole uh, positive negative is going to the outers and spark gap in between. It's pretty neat. So we'll give her a start. Started at zero. I'm not going to do any measuring today. I uh, just want to show you that Lights the lights even brighter, and <coughs> some decent sparks there. Alrighty. <laughs> you hear that capacitor just bristling already, eh? I've got like the perfect combination right now. Uh, I've got these two capacitors, and this giganto mama here. Uh, spark gap covered up. The secondary spark gap is exposed, and here we go.
things are toasty. <laughs> um, some other interesting thing is the I can't I can't power any more incandescent bulbs. Uh, it just it'll just fry it <laughs> instantly. <clears throat> I'll show you what uh what happens when I just hook up to the. So we're hooked up to the little socket here. Turn it back down. <laughs> 